welcome back to another video of Brown Struggle in Canada and today we are taking you to Parkwood Estate in Oshawa. Parkwood Estate is one of the National Historic Sites in Canada. It was the home of R.S. McLaughlin, which established General Motors Canada. I won't go into too much detail in history because you can always read it when you're inside the park. There's several plaques which mention the history of the place. I'll go straight into the video and I'll get started by saying that the parking here is free and not just the parking, the admission to the gardens is free as well. You are free to park in front of the hospital or you can also park near the gift shop. There are several entrances to the park with the map that tells you exactly where you are and where all the beautiful gardens are located. We decided to enter from the front entrance. It's right on the left of the front of the mansion and it leads you directly to the back of the mansion. But before visiting and seeing the back of the mansion, we decided to go on to the sunken gardens. The sunken gardens have a lower elevation. It's a beautiful ground. Being there feels like a theater. There's many weddings happening there all the time. When we visited, the area was empty. Luckily, there was going to be a wedding later that day, but we arrived early. So it was a perfect chance to take some photos and get a good scene of the location. And as we exit the sunken garden, you arrive at the back of the mansion once again. Even at the back of the mansion, there is a lot to see. There is a beautiful sundial garden and you see beautiful flowers as you're walking towards your next location. We're coming up now to our favorite location. This is the formal garden and the tea house. Now the formal garden is a garden I would believe is supposed to be used for meetings but it also houses one big surprise in Parkwood Estate and that is the Tea House Garden Restaurant. Now this restaurant is located right beside the pond of the garden. It's a beautiful long pond with beautiful fountains all in the center of the pond. This is a very picturesque location. This is a location where you get your Instagram photos. This is the location that makes you feel like you're out in COVID and you're having a good time. Now you can sit here, enjoy a good lunch and you might need to have a reservation for this but it worked out for us even with the walk-in. Their manager Amit was great and we really appreciated his hospitality. Moving on forward, there are many places to sit in the formal garden. There's beautiful butterflies on top of flowers. They were not even scared of us. So I was even able to get a clip of them just taking up all of that nectar. And as we walk up the stairs of the formal garden, we see a grand view of the location. And it's something to just behold. And after that, we decided to take the second entrance, which led us to a beautifully landscaped tennis court. After a small stroll and spending some time here, we decided to go towards a beautiful garden full of flowers and it was called Rose White and Cutting Garden. This garden had my favorite statue of the park. Definitely made me want to go to Canada's Wonderland again. And the next garden was the hardest to find. It was called the Italian Garden, but indeed it was the most scenic. Since it was a hidden garden, there were not many people, which gave me a chance to take beautiful Instagrammable pictures in front of the lily pond and beautiful sculptures. Let us know in the comments if you found this garden. To visit the interior of the Parkwood Estate, you would need guided tours. And to ask about that, we went into the gift shop of the Parkwood Estate. Their staff was really nice and the gift shop itself was a great little place. But unfortunately, we were not able to get a reservation for that day. Maybe later on, if you'd been trusted to see the inside of the estate, we'd love to do that for you. 
let us know in the comments i hope you guys loved the video today and we'll see you on the next one thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel